Okay, so here we go. I've just got a small piece of copper. It's just an offcut. I think it's 0.3 mil, and I'm just going to cut that up into six roughly equal pieces. Uh, taking these little covers off is always a pain. So I'm going to use the magic of editing to speed this job up. There we go. I'm just going to pop them on the sander and take off the sharp edges. It doesn't really matter, but you know, I like to be tidy. And again, this will take a while, so I'm going to speed it up with the magic of editing. Oh! Okay, right, hold on. Come on, come on. Ah, got it, right, okay. On we go, do the other ones. And just give them a quick tumble, just to clean them up, polish them off. I think they had about 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to mix up some pickles. That's not a cup of tea, by the way. That's just a mug I use for keeping water in. I don't drink from my bench. Um, so this is sodium bisulfite. Some of you will know this as pH down or safety pickle, something like that. I give a couple of spoonfuls of that, it all goes quite hard if you don't use it a lot. And I don't use it a lot. You can see in the background I've got a quite well used container of it. I change it every six months or so, something like that. So once again, use the uh, magic of editing to speed this up. No one wants to see me stirring for three or four minutes. I remember at this point I have some litmus paper, so I thought I might as well pH test this, and then we know where we are with the strength of the acids. And pH isn't an entirely meaningful metric, um, but it'll give us an idea. And this is just straight distilled white vinegar. Same thing I use for cooking. And I did two of these because I wanted to see whether adding salt would make any difference to a vinegar pickle. And this is just cheap cooking salt. Nothing special about it. So these nice silver plated spoons I'm using will one day be turned into spoon rings. But for the meantime, they, they are very useful to have a, a couple of spoons around on my bench. So I'll make sure that's all fully dissolved. Uh, the pH of the salted vinegar came out slightly higher than the plain vinegar. Higher means it's less acidic. Okay, so this is what I know as pH down, which is phosphoric acid. And this is citric acid, again from my kitchen. And then I did another phosphoric acid at a lower concentration. So one of them is half and half, and the other one is 1 to 10, I think. I'm just going to get some oxide on these bits of copper. I tried to heat them all to roughly the same temperature for roughly the same amount of time.
and I just left those to sit and cool down before dropping them into the various pickles. Everything's at the same temperature. I know some of you like to keep your pickle warm, but all that does is speed up the reaction. We should get a good comparison of how effective each pickle is at room temperature. It will just run a bit faster if you want to warm it up in a crock pot or whatever. So you can see straight away that the, um, the strong acids are more useful and the vinegar is not great. I gave it two minutes and my phone decided not to show the timer for most of that, so that's useful. Then after the time had elapsed, I uh, take them out and just give them a gentle wipe across one side with some clean kitchen paper. That way you can get a bit of a comparison of what it looked like before and after pickling. It looks fairly clear that vinegar on its own is nowhere near as effective as vinegar and salt. If I'd paid a bit more attention in chemistry class I could probably tell you why that was. The citric acid doesn't seem to work very well. I could maybe have made that mixture a bit stronger. Um, in the real world of course I could just leave the copper in longer and I'm sure it would become as clean eventually. The phosphoric acid at 10 to 1, that's 10 water to 1 phosphoric acid, worked very well. The phosphoric acid mixed 50-50 with water is just amazing, but on the other hand you wouldn't necessarily want to have a mixture that strong sitting on your bench. I'd be a bit wary about getting that on my skin, whereas with the other ones quite happily just reach in and, and grab whatever's in there. So after I'd done this I just got a clean cotton swab and gave each one another little bit of a polish just on one corner and I'm pushing quite hard just so you can see how much how much more oxide comes off. And I think from this we can see that all the pickles work. Vinegar on its own doesn't work very well. I'm surprised by the difference between those two. And um, unsurprisingly, strong acids work better than weak ones. And phosphoric acid isn't a particularly nasty substance. It's, you know, it's sold in shops. It's in Coca-Cola and stuff like that. So even when even with rubbing hard, the vinegar did not come clean. But with the addition of a teaspoon of salt made all the difference. And I suspect this would have worked better if I'd left it longer, but then it wouldn't be a fair comparison against everything else. Sodium bisulfate is popular for a reason. Uh, phosphoric acid worked very well. So there you go. Some pickles against other pickles. Some work better, but they all work. <laughs>